I've tried to start this series off a number of times now and I, I keep getting stuck at the very beginning. Julie Andrews taught us that that's a very good place to start. But trying to find the do re mi or the, the tonic of a theory of cognition and especially a musical theory of cognition it seems to be presenting more problems than I had anticipated. Now of course I sort of have an idea of where we are going with this but in, in, in order to, to get started, we, we, we first need to know our initial port of call. And I'm, I'm using that analogy advisedly. But I'd like, to, I'd like to actually use a different kind of picture for this video, just to get us started here. So I'm using this picture, which I've sort of borrowed from, from Willard van Olmen Quine. It's basically the idea of the web of belief. Now, I'm very fond of this, of this idea. I'm, I'm not particularly fond of spiders, but I'm very fond of this idea of the web of belief because I think it describes very nicely how our, our thoughts are interconnected. There's a couple of other plausible ways of, of constructing this, this sort of connection between ideas and between beliefs and between scientific, uh, uh, scientific uh, specialties. Uh, for example, Auguste Comte had this idea of, of, a, of a pyramid um, going in, in, in two directions, one going from the generality of a subject and the, 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 the other going from, the, from the, 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 the sort of the result of a, of a subject. So, for example, mathematics has a sort of a very general uh, application. You can use mathematics in a whole bunch of different fields, whereas, say, sociology has has an impact over a, a very broad a range of fields and, and this was Comte was sort of the original original sociologist um, because he believed that sociology had this 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 overarching role to play now i don't really i'm not really a particular fan of that view of doing things and there's a whole bunch of reasons which i i might go into in a in a future video but essentially, the picture that I'd like to work with is this, is this web, the web of belief. I've, I've drawn a couple of elements here, and I'll just go through them quickly for this video, just, just, to, just to give an overview. So the, 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 basic, the basic background that we have here is, is inside the blue circle, and that, that represents cognition. I'd, I'd, I'd like to maybe think of it as like, like the sea of thought. But the idea of cognition that I'm using here is maybe a little bit broader than just, than just thoughts within the world. Basically, I'm sort of a constructivist in the sense in, in that I believe that our, our thoughts construct the world we live in. So in essence, cognition ex encompasses, cognition encompasses everything that that we can experience so even though even though i'm calling this border cognition really what i mean is is the reality which we can experience or the cognition which we can inhabit so i'm i'm not saying that that's all there is to reality but the only access we can have to reality is through cognition so so this this is kind of the idea of this sea or ocean of thought basically and within that ocean of thought, we can only we can only see parts at a time. We, 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 uh, just just to start with, I mean, more than anything else, we we cannot be inside our own thoughts. So we 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 can we can remember and we can think about what our thoughts were a second ago, but we can't fill those thoughts at the same time. Our thoughts move through time basically and and it's this this time based process that means that if 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 all our thoughts were just at once th th there, there there would be no progression through time of thought and essentially I, I i believe that 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 progression through time is an essential element of thought we can only progress through time if we if we don't have the whole sea of thought at the same time so this whole notion that often comes up in, in, in Hollywood movies of, of using 100% of the brain wouldn't really make a lot of sense because that would just mean 
just like information overload it would just be like a like a like a like a screen just filled with information none of it none of which is sort of like digested so essentially it's essentially we, we we have to move our thoughts through time and because of that we can't have all the thoughts at one time so in other words the web takes place within cognition but it can't be all of cognition at the same time so that's that's that part of it and and that's that's why the web is sort of like trying to it's trying to capture as much of cognition at once but using as few strands as possible to fill the space so that's that's basically one of the reasons why that's a nice picture so the next element are these green nodes now i don't know if it's really possible to see here but i've marked some of the the, the nodes and especially the outer nodes which one can think of as sort of like the, the connections that we that we place on 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 the walls on, on the, so the, the the fixed points from which we proceed but i i don't want to give the suggestion that that we have to start at those points and this is sort of where i was running into troubles with some of the stuff where none of these are, are, are truly fundamental starting points so we can move them and we can shift them but for any given structure for any given web we have to start at one place and this is a point where where an arachnologist i believe that like and and entomologist studies insects and arachnologist studies spiders and they might correct me on the structure of this web because i believe spiders will actually connect the web from one side to another and then make different anchor points and then go around so I'm, I'm not claiming this to be an accurate representation of an actual spider web so it's just a it's just a vague representation but anyway we have these 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 anchor points which i've marked here as like the laws of thoughts the the laws of thought uh, the idea of trust and faith is another anchor point that we can use and another anchor point that we can use is perception our, our, our basic our basic uh, the, the, immediate perception of the world can be another anchor point that we can use so i've called these basically word concepts or, or language and what i mean by that is that the these are these are words that we that that we place on on ideas and, and words kind of encapsulate ideas they become anchor points fixed points in our reasoning but crucially they they they're just the starting points for connections they're not they're not necessarily the they're not necessarily thoughts in themselves the the, the whole web of belief becomes a, a thought at a given time within the broader cognition that's sort of the idea that i'm going for so in order to connect these these thought atoms of words together we have the web itself which is which is which is represented by the purple here which I'm going to say is basically logic. And when I say logic here, I mean very basic first order logic. And I'll, I'll discuss what that means. Or, or even zeroth order logic. And the distinction between those and the, the logic that one often uses when one is speaking, which is second order logic, is a very important distinction. So, so second order logic involves concepts like probability and chance and that, that that's a very important aspect of science and mathematics and and language itself but that's very distinct from logic itself and that distinction is, is something that'll be a, a quite a quite a, a one one of the nice nodes that we can go to on the web at some some point what are one of the future videos and then the the third important aspect here is is what i've marked here with the with the red arrows now i've marked the red arrows on the on the on, on a node uh, one could argue that one could uh, that one could have an, an arrow on on the web itself but 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 what i'm what i mean is it's the it's the the, the push of of no i don't know what to call this but the the push of emotion on on our beliefs and, and I, I use the word emotion here in the in the very in the very general sense. It's the it's the motion of ideas, and that that's why I'm I'm relating this to music. So when I'm talking about the music of thought, 
I, 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 I mean this way that our ideas are, are pushed and manipulated by uh, our other thoughts and our perception and our, and our, our, our feelings about things, which, which is very crucial to how cognition works. So basically, this web is a, is a, is a tension web. It's a tensegrity web. The, 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 the word from Buckminster Fuller um, came up with, this, with the term tensegrity, where, where the web is being held together by the tension of the elements. So, so webbing, the, 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 the whole nice thing about webbing is that if you, if you compress it, it, it's not very strong in compression, but it's extremely strong in tension. So we can pull it and, and the elements can pull on each other and shift and move. And why that's important is, is because because we can't cover the whole space of cognition with the web, it's that movement through the web that allows us to, to see different aspects of it. So just a, just a very simple example of how this, this works is, is basically if I show an object like this, we can't see the whole object at the whole time, but at, at one point in time. We have to manipulate the object and 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 move it, manipulate it in time. So there's no way for us to see the whole object at once. We can imagine doing that. We, we, we can imagine ourselves, we can imagine the whole object at once in our, in, in our mind's eye in a way. But, but, but basically it's, it's, that, it's that manipulation through time that allows us to see every aspect of the, of the object. So, so that's, that's the idea of where the emotion and where the, the music pushing our beliefs. Uh, for example, if, if, I'm, if I'm showing the front of the object, I want to see the back of the object. So my emotion is, is, is causing me to, 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 to move the object so we can see the back of it. It's one way of thinking of it. So that's basically the role of music, as, as, I, as I understand it, in cognition. And, and this is when, I, when I'm speaking of the music of thought. I'm speaking of how, how that, that push and pull on our thoughts can help us see more of cognition or maybe even all of cognition in, 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 in principle through time if we, if we move everything enough. The next element, and I've already kind of mentioned it by mistake now, the, the whole idea of causality and, and truth and concepts like that, which I've... I've I've designated or I've, I've, I've denoted by these little flies on, on the web. And the whole idea here is if, if, if we imagine we're a spider making this kind of web through, through in the space of cognition, uh, the whole point of the web, the whole, the whole reason why we are building the web is not, is not to map cognition itself just as the sort of abstract entity. There's no point to that. The point is we want to catch flies, and as a spider, we like to eat flies. So, so I've, I've put these little flies in there, but, but the whole point is that they're not structural elements. The flies don't build the web. The web is there to catch the flies. And once the web has caught a fly, that fly, in effect, destroys a part of the web and, and makes the web inoperable in, 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 in that Part because obviously now another fly can go around. I oh, know there's a fly. I'm not going to fly into that spot. So essentially, essentially that's what the flies represent. They, they represent the things that we want to do with the web. We want to catch ideas like causation and truth, and and knowledge and stuff like that. Um, but once we have caught those ideas, once once we've captured those ideas, they destroy our web of beliefs in in a sense. So. If we want to use the web of belief consistently, we, we, ha we have to keep taking those flies out. We have to keep catching them and we have to keep taking them out. So this, is, this just basically just, just, just captures that whole idea of, of the dangers of science and the dangers of religion and the dangers of thought and the dangers of anything really, where we, we can... We can get caught up in in the constructs of our own imagination and the, the, these ideas like like causation cannot be adequately accounted for by any way of thinking about anything but they 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 are the reasons why we think so we have to we have to find a way we have to find a way to deal with these consistently and, and without without falling into the trap each time 
So the picture that I'd like to, to, to give with this is the whole notion of, of uh, Odysseus uh, traveling on the Mediterranean Sea. That's why one, one can think of this as the Sea of Thought. And we, we, we're traveling the Sea of Thought. And one of the stories about Odysseus is that he wanted to hear the siren's call. Now the sirens were these mythological beasts who, who looked like very pretty ladies and would sing these alluring songs. But of course they would, they would tempt sailors onto the rocks uh, to their death. And Odysseus wanted to hear these siren calls because apparently they were very beautiful. And so what he, what he did is he had his sailors tie him to the mast of the ship. And he had the sailors plug their ears with, with, with beeswax so that they couldn't hear the, the sirens and they, and they could keep going. But he could, but he couldn't, he couldn't escape to, to, to drown himself, essentially. So, so essentially, th that, that gives us a nice, a nice little picture of, of how we can deal with these flies that get caught up in the web. One, one way is just to, just to dive into the ocean and just, and just get dragged down into the muck of all these ideas of truths and causation and all these really appealing knowledge. We, we want knowledge about the world, but we can't get it through cognition. Um, and and that's, that's essentially us diving into, these, these, the, the, in, in, into the water after the siren's call. The, the other way that we can do it is we can just block our ears and we can just go about our lives and not worry about stuff like that. Just keep rowing and just pretend not to hear it or not hear it at all. And the way that I'm going to suggest that, that we do it instead is to be a little bit like Odysseus. We, we tie ourselves to the mast and, and the mast, now I'm getting back, the mast is the, is, is the web itself. We tie ourselves to the, ma to the mast so that we can we can hear the sirens call and we can we, we can appreciate it and we can we, we can in, in, enjoy those sorts of things, but without without being able to actually jump all the way in. So that's basically the picture that I that I would like to to start with, and this this might be this might be a good a good way to to in fact to construct the whole series of, of videos, just um, starting with with various starting points and and building building a web of connections between all these all these ideas as we go along so i hope that's useful as a as an overview and just as a as a as a basic picture just just to use to to to, to build what 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 we're doing here and what what i'm trying to achieve with the music of thought this whole idea of, of moving through a sea of cognition great